Hello everybody, it's time to go back to Gran Turismo 3. I only had a chance to make two videos this week, mostly because I was very tired and I had a lot of private stuff. But anyway, what I have uh, from Gran Turismo 3 now is a list trophy. A list trophy, it's a lot of Swan Make event. For which I'll need Lotus LS 190 or Motorsport LS. And that's a big problem because even though Motorsport LS can be much better. Wait. Well, not a huge difference, but still. Okay. I'm gonna get this Lotus British green color. So I have Motorsport LS, made by Lotus. The main problem I have now is lack of cash. I'll need to upgrade my lightweight vehicle. Some people might say you don't have sports brakes. I don't really care about that. Luckily I might have a lot of cash to get this vehicle upgraded. We can buy any tune-up, but sadly it doesn't get any effects. That's a real shame. Sure, I'm buying a lot of stuff, a lot of upgrades. And I'm spending my whole money made in this game. Transmission for racing. If I'm not mistaken, I ain't gonna drive on test course, so this time, luckily, I don't have to take care of this transmission. Okay, I can apply turbo kit, stage 2. That's enough for me, I can have a very good race car. Sure, ain't gonna be a Lotus Ellis GT1, but still, I can have very good results at this Ellis Trophy. Even though it's a very light car, just 700 kilograms, I can still buy lightweight upgrade, carrying out useless stuff. Sure, I spend a lot of cash. Luckily, the next event ain't gonna be so bad. Okay, let's check it out. How good this vehicle is now. Okay, 623 kilograms, 336 good enough, I'm gonna use a GT Auto Service to change oil. I'm gonna change oil in this car and move on to this event I have today. Luckily it's not a beats race, so it's gonna be much faster. I remember that I had a lot of problems in a beats race, not only because of the test course and the bad gearbox, but other, all this other stuff. Here we have Lotus LS Trophy, the latest creation from Lotus is lightweight car using an aluminium frame and FRP. Skillfully drive today's ferry of the legendary Colin Chapman. We have only Cote d'Azur, Cote d'Azur, Apricot Hill Raceway, Deep Forest, River Strom Circuit and Trial Mountain. Race information are very nice. You can only get a podium place for a price. You can afford up to 15,000 for first place. And of course, Alice Trophy. No sign of GT1 in Gran Turismo 3. Too bad. You can only afford these vehicles. So, let's participate in this race. Let's check it out. What we can have here. Okay, we have two Lotus LS's 190 Sport and four Lotus Motor Sport LS versions. Alright, fine by me. I'll just have to check out some stuff. Now I have over 350 horsepower. Of course, lightweight. 
active stability management system is not gonna be very important because all I care about with this vehicle is traction control. Anyway, just like in this race, 10 laps on each track. We only have 5 tracks, so this race ain't gonna be very long. On God the other, I'm gonna spend about 18 minutes. The rest of this track should be pretty easy for me. Okay. Very nice engine sound with this racing muffler. Some people said that uh, if you have Lotus Elise Sport 190 or even Motorsport Elise, if you afford the racing muffler, then this vehicle is gonna have engine sounds similar to Elise GT1 from Gran Turismo 2. I'm not sure how this is gonna work because. I didn't even have a chance to complete uh, arcade mode in Gran Turismo 2. I only had a chance to complete all license exams. So yeah, if you want to check out Gran Turismo 2 license exams, it's up to you. I'll definitely have also a channel checkout on Twitter page, so... Yeah, even though I only have now about 40... 40 subscribers? I'm very satisfied that somebody had a chance and free time to watch my useless stuff. Yeah, I've spent time gaming. Sometimes I have other ideas, but even though I had other ideas, they were not so good. Too bad. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Okay, maybe I'll have an uh, active stability management system, asset stability system in the next races because I can feel that this car tends to oversteer because of uh, high power and light weight. Luckily it's not the same as the beat race. Not only because of the length of this championship, but rather the fact that this vehicle just drives very fast and it's not very... It's not very bad. Sure, this is a midship engine vehicle, so... Also, that's a... It's a very good reason this car tends to oversteer. But still... I don't have a very nice car, I don't have a very fast car. But at least it sounds kind of like Lotus Elise GT1. But this is just a modified Lotus Motorsport Elise with popular Lotus Racing British Green Color. Or Lotus British Racing Green Color. I'm not sure how to describe that, sorry. Now I only have to take care of the next event which I'm gonna have soon because next week I'll have probably, I'm not sure about that now, Clio Trophy and then I'm gonna move on to Toscan Challenge, Toscan Speed 6 made by TBR, and then Rally Events. Instead of that I'll have to move on with the other stuff I have on my channel, that means The Sims, published by EA Games, and also Gran Turismo 2. I actually had an idea that I'll make this uh, game, Gran Turismo playthroughs, uh, chronically, in chronological order. Sadly, I started Let's Play, a playthrough, not Let's Play, a playthrough, from Gran Turismo 3 way before I have started playing Gran Turismo 1, so still I got Gran Turismo 1 completed first. I'm not sure just now. If I'm gonna finish Gran Turismo 2 before Gran Turismo 3. For now I also have some other stuff, jobs, some other plans. Maybe I'll have just enough money to buy. I'm not sure about game capture, maybe I'll upgrade my computer and move some ISO, ISO files from my old CDs for PlayStation 2 just to 
gonna play these games on PlayStation 2 emulator. Sadly, my computer is not very good. Sure, some games can be very good, but sadly, recorders I have are not so good and the games are blurry, the videos are bad, and the frame rate is very bad too. Okay. Luckily today I have a good mood and a lot of chances to talk, a lot of stuff which some people probably don't give a shit about. But I can honestly say that somehow the stuff I'm doing on this YouTube platform is not very bad. Well, unless some people are scared because in Europe there is a big problem. Act 2 or something like that. I feel very sorry for something like that. European Union decided to make something like that. Why? Even though I have racing super sleek tires, that's that's very interesting. Midship engine, that means rear tires are heated up way faster than front ones. Well, front tires are now getting heated up too, so that's not a big problem. But still we have some stuff. I think I've made the right choice to buy a Motorsport Elise rather than Elise Sport 190 because I have that strange feeling that this Lotus Elise Sport 190 is very bad comparing to Motorsport Elise. I'm just checking the track map and somehow I have a feeling that Lotus Elise Sport 190 have a 5th and 6th place during this event so yeah that's not very, it's not very good. Also, I have checked out some videos, playthroughs from Grand Turismo 3, just to be sure, and I have found out that Motorsport Elise can have upgrades, which uh, can get this vehicle up to almost twice the power he have. Sadly, Lotus Elise Sport 190 can only have 290 horsepower max, so... Yeah, and even though it is a one-make race, it is a professional Lego also, so... These events are for the fastest LS, Lotus Elises and this race is for the fastest Toyota Vitz cars, but I remember that this race was in beginner Lego. Altesa Championship and Typer Meeting was in Beginner and Amateur League, so we have some other one make races put into the Professional League just because they have 10 laps. Well, even though I have 15,000 for first place on each track, I'm not gonna be surprised if somebody uh, had about 40,000 credits when he completed this championship. Maybe I'll get 50,000. I'm not sure about that because to be honest, I... Well, it's not like uh, I had... It's not the same situation as with The Sims or something like that, but... Uh, Gran Turismo 3 is that kind of game which I have played to 90% of completion. Once I've tried to complete this game to 100%, but sadly the save was left unfinished. It was left for two years, because I had 
a very nice idea in 2012-2013 when I started my YouTube channel uh, to make a playthrough from this game. To be honest, this save file was left unfinished the last time I played this was... I can't remember even... probably in 2016-2017. Yeah, so it is two years ago. But beside of that, I just thought, hey, I can finish this game for 100% because I can't say that that I can be corrupted or something else might get broken up. What's very interesting, Gran Turismo 3 CD I have, have 15 years old. Is 15 years old. Oh, no, 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 no 15. 18 years old even. That's very interesting. For example, Gran Turismo 4. I didn't have a chance to get this CD broken up so much. Sadly, data corruption and problems with the loading screen. And this is my second CD. Second CD I got five years ago. The first one got broken up so bad I would not even check out the files and memory serve, save file from the memory card was also deleted. Yeah. If anybody is interesting, yeah, that's my story with Gran Turismo. When I was playing most of the time on PlayStation 2 rather on PC. I have some games on PC, but well. For now I can say that most of them are gonna be very good. interesting is that we have 10 laps here even though this Lotus Alices are a midship engine vehicles opponents have difficulties driving this vehicle on Cote d'Azur but nobody decided to enter a pit stop for changing tires and thanks to that I have 32 seconds of lead distance very interesting distance is rising up and nobody is getting to the pit stop driving like a maniac I had a chance to get the best lap time again beat my last lap record
Okay, so Oakland and Sang gonna visit a pit stop even though their tires are not in very good condition. So if I had 10 laps on Conde Azor, that means I'm gonna spend about 70 to 18 minutes on each track. Okay, I had first place, and let's check out, that's what I thought, Lotus Elise Sport 190 is not a very good vehicle for this one make event, so sad, anyway, I'm done here, let's give me my 15,000 so I can move on to another track. Ten laps on a Prichot Hill Raceway. Again, ten laps. So we have a very fast track designed for the pros. Sorry. Thank you. I know driving motorsport LS made by Lotus on Apricot Hill Raceway is not very satisfying. It's gonna be difficult. Kind of. Okay, 90 seconds, about 90 seconds for each lap, that means less than 15 minutes on this track, good for me, I'm gonna make very nice lap times, maybe I'll have 14 minutes, sadly 
I don't have heated up tires, so driving on this chicane section ain't gonna be very easy. handbrake to heat up those rear tires. Cutting this corner. She came, I mean. Full speed. Whoa! It wasn't so good. Still I got a best lap time again. Because get it up tires. But seriously, I should think about this assist stability management system. DCS is not enough, I'll have to drive a lower RPMs. Soon I'll have a driving style just like in Gran Turismo 1 and 2. I'll have to get ready for that.
damn it. Oh, I thought I can do that. Too bad. Drifting. I felt some strange bumps. I don't know why they are here. Oops. Driving through the grass. Okay. Broken up my lap record. Okay, again, Lotus LS Sport 190 had no chances. Had no chances with Lotus Motorsport LS. Okay, just 20 seconds of lead distance, that means Apricot Hill Raceway is not only a very fast track, but also I have more reasons to make a huge fail and just lose my first place. Mostly because of situations like these. Luckily I didn't get a chance to enter pit stop because then I'll be mad angry. Okay. Lotus Motorsport LS, three LS's decided to enter a pit stop, I'm not sure about Sport 190, but I can honestly say that Apricot Hero Raceway is not a very nice track. Okay, 
Sport 190, you get a chance to keep up with motorsport version, but not for so long. They just had a chance to escape from them. Okay, last lap, Lotus L this Sport 190 taking a pit stop. They had some problems on this track, but luckily the other three I have left, they ain't gonna be so difficult. Alright, I spent 14 minutes on a Brigot Hill and got 15,000 again. Alright, let's move on to race number 3. Alright, Deep Forest, 10 laps. It ain't gonna be so difficult. kind it's
Okay, so if I've spent 14 minutes on Apricot Hill Raceway, I'm gonna be surprised about the forest. Turns out in LS Trophy, we have five tracks that, beside of Cote the Azor, are not very long. So this event is closer to 80 minutes than this race. Some people might say, in this race you have a lot of problems on test course because of this short range gearbox. You could buy for racing transmission then this episode might be about 400 minutes worth. Sadly, after I check out this stuff, maybe some people would be right. Anyway, this race is over, I got this passed. Even though I've spent two hours playing Grand Turismo 3 back then. Now I have a least trophy, I'm gonna spend 80 minutes, eventually 85. I'm just not sure about the price car. I guess I'll get Lotus Ellis Sport 190 and this is gonna be the only price car I'm gonna afford here. Maybe Lotus Esprit V8 has E, but sadly no chances for a good special color. Whatever. Okay, we got best lap time. Racing on the forest ain't gonna be very strange. About 13 minutes, driving very fast because the forest ain't something very difficult. A little crash because of oversteer and loss of traction.
I broke in a lap record. But I'm not sure about this one because this is a final lap. I have hit it up tires, but I can make a mistake. Just like this one. Okay. Her track is finished. Just 20 minutes and 50 seconds. 12 minutes, 50 seconds, yeah. Let's move on to another track. I'm just gonna get that cash and move on to race number four race number four takes place on Rome circuit reversed what's also very funny is the fact that Lotus Ellis for 290 is very bad for this event let's check out the difference few motorsport LS is driven by opponents had a chance to make a little difference in the positions at the finish line but 190 got every time 5th and last place that's very bad they didn't even have a chance to make a competition between the, themselves Anyway, I have 10 laps here. I'm gonna check out what's waiting for me. Spinning out, oversteer and a little crash. That's not a good mix. Whoa. Whew. That was a close call.
I really have a big problem with this vehicle. And also, again, I forgot about the asset stability management system. Still, I can drive not so bad. Well, that's me. Okay. Even though I have a lot of energy today, I I don't know what to say. The round circuit reversed again, it's a very easy track. We can't have any problems here. Yeah. We have these one make events that mostly these are one make events that didn't make it to beginner and amateur Lego. For professional Lego, they didn't have many ideas. You have drivetrain events, NA turbo events, maybe 
another version of Race of Red Emblem and some other stuff, but sadly, nothing else. Grand Prix World Championship, All Stars, All Japan GT, and that's all. Luckily, you can afford nice price cars with unique colors. Ah, my bad. I, for example, got Toyota Yaris in a pink color when I finished Back in the Lego, and I got Sian uh, Toyota Yaris when I did finish Beast Race in Professional Lego. I'm curious if I'm gonna get Lotus LA Sport 190 with a unique color or something else. Probably they don't have anything else. You'll just get some unique colors and Lotus LA 190. And that's all. Just three laps to finish this race. Then I'll just have to finish Trail Mountain and I'm gonna get a nice prize car. Just two laps to finish this race.
And the final lap. Also, I got advanced lap time again. Okay. I'm getting away from them, so... There is nothing else to do. This last fast section... And finish line. Less than 15 minutes. Nice. Okay. Fifteen thousand. Then I'm just gonna move on to the last race we have here. The last fifth race is gonna take place on Trial Mountain. Should be interesting. I feel sorry for this deep purple lot of cellies.
oversteer. Drifting. Whoa, big jump. Okay, on Trail Mountain it's gonna be very difficult, even though I have heated up tires, the situation could be even worse than in a triple hill. I'll have to watch out. I don't know why, but from the outside this Lotus Alice <clears throat> GT1 with this racing muffler kind of sounds like a Nissan GTR. Just kind of. Another situation where the engine sound is similar to sound of another vehicle. And nobody knows why. Got this corner. Got this one. And survive.
curious now in this white Lotus Alice will be on the last place. And beside of that we also had Lotus Motorsport Alice, probably the red one rather than the blue one. Maybe both of them were exactly race stats. Okay, another situation just like in a Picot Hill Raceway that opponents are using a pit stop. For now only Motorsport Alice's. Okay, even Alice 190's decided to make a stop. Best lap time again, and final lap. Again, spinning out in a little crash in the tunnel section. That's strange, I have little crashes on the uh, tunnel section not around these blind corners. finished and sadly no changes no changes white LS 190 overtook the purple one again and also red motorsport LS 
Got a chance to get second place back. Okay. I'm just gonna take my cash and check out how much money I'll get. Whoa, 60,000. Now I have a quarter of a million for the Clio Cup, which is gonna be soon. Maybe next week. Alright. I had a chance to check out that we can afford probably Lotus Esprit for 350, but I'm not so sure about that. And to be honest, I don't really care about this stuff. Okay, so I have Lotus Alice Sport 190 in a unique lightning blue color. It's a very good color. So, the next event I'm gonna pass is gonna be the Clio Cup, then Tuscan Challenge before I'm gonna move on to Rally Events. Because, no, before Rally Events I have Gran Turismo All-Stars, All Japan GT Championship, and Grand Rhythm World Championship. Then I'm gonna move on to Rally Events just before this S license uh, championships and events. So it wasn't very difficult. I've spent less than half one and a half an hour. I've spent about what, 80 85 minutes, over 85 minutes passing this championship. And I got not very bad price car. I feel satisfied. So, I'm not sure what's gonna be next. I'll probably make a video about Sims or something else. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a nice day.